Trey Steins on the whistle with Bill Covington Jr. and Tony Henderson, and we're underway from the castle. Evie a triple. And it got deflected out of there. Gilkison the rebound. Far side of three away for Kerfman. Stevens. Kerfman another three. Win. That's a really good play. Wholesale substitutions waiting at the table here for both schools. Inside, Horn gets the field goal. Brandon Johnson, a redshirt senior, is on the floor as well, along with Isaiah Wilkins, who knocks down the baseline jump shot. You mentioned the Hokies do a really good job generally not turning the ball over. Mm -hmm. That's exactly where the ball needs to go. And Wilkins has hit back-to-back -back field goals for Mike Young. Yeah, Ojiako playing about 12 minutes of ball game. Inside and a basket for John Ojiako in the foul. Percentage was very low, but their rate of having their shots blocked was very high. And one. Guy we were just talking about, Jalen Cohn, Wes. Here's Radford trying to get in the front court. A nice job by VMI to get back quickly, but still Cohn finds the opening. There's another throw. Conway on the drive. Tried to skip it out. It deflected to Gilkison. Two to shoot, Gilkison launches and hits. Good heavens. Garrett Gilkison. Job preventing Kuffman to just line up that three. Yep. Or Kerfman, excuse me. Here's Lewis going back up and under the score. Now that's, that's Lewis's game, Wes. Here's Nolly out front working against Gilkison. Four to shoot and Aleem. Lefty two. Wow. It's a two for Naheem Aleem. Back for Nolly, left open right of the circle. First points for Landers Nolly is 34 3 of the year. Baseline Aline tried to slip it to Horn, and PJ Horn over the taller Stevens for the basket. Well, good job by Beatty to recover, and Parham missed the three. Tang kept it alive. Here's Kirkman. Camden Kirkman's got three triples here in the first half. Are you trying to tell me he's a pretty good offensive player? Well, I'm, what I'm telling you is, is that I think he's the reason. There's Radford on the rebound of the miss in his first bucket. Gilkison. Back inside Kramer with 11 to shoot. Working against Ojiako off the glass with the left hand for Tyler Kramer. Everybody else was that one for 11. And Aline stays with him on the opening possession here of half two. Lewis a spot up two. Miles Lewis second field goal. On rebound, Landers Nolly races right back by Kramer and threw it away to Travis Evie. Kirkman in transition. Another one. That's the way they want to play. Five in a row by Virginia Military Institute, and there to within three as Horn scores on the up and under. In the corner, here's Lewis. Steps up to the wing and knocks down the field goal. So two key debts doing all the scoring here in the second half. Assist in this game, yeah. Wilson. That's, that's a big reason why Virginia Tech really doesn't have a lot of points on the board. The drive, Aline, and one. Lead is five. Here's Radford. Back for Isaiah Wilkins at the top, and he bangs home the three. Now what a productive day for Isaiah Wilkins. A lot of transition opportunities for VMI. Stevens for Gilkison. Tried to go back door. Nice catch and basket for Sean Conway. Along with uh, Kirkman, who's got a dozen today, and that's stolen by Couture. Boy, Couture. Three on two if he hurries. And Couture all the way to the basket. Yes, he was doing the very best he could to hurry. Comes from a basketball family. In fact, uh, his sister-in-law is the former Virginia Tech women's star, Reagan McGarity, now playing professionally in Turkey. He and Cohn have done a very nice job helping Virginia Tech offensively. Evie a catch and shoot three. Nicely done. Travis Evie's first points. Lead is eight. Conway for Evie in the corner. Back to back threes now for Travis Evie. VMI would make it interesting. Couture steals the pass. He'll take it and lay it in. Nice job by the young big man defensively. Just keeping his hands up, not letting himself get pushed under the basket, making it a tough shot. Couture catching shoot three. Got it. Couture's got eight. The lead is 10 for Virginia Tech. Evie trying to answer and does. Travis Evie's heated up here in the second half. Here's Petey. Skip back for Wilkins. 
Nice, nice pass. pass for Radford in the layup. What created that whole thing was the ball movement. Not a lot of dribbling by one guy, a dribble, a pass. Gilkison at the other end rings the bell. Shot clock at seven. Radford had it deflected away, recovers, finds Beatty, layup good. He plays with Evie, Kramer, Gilkison, and Conway. And there's Evie, another one. Boy. Travis Evie with 12, all in the second half. Second chance points, though, in this ball game. Inside, Ojiako. Couture with the clock running down. And he got and fouled. One. Foul is on Kerfman here. Ojiako's in trouble inside, and he kicks it out, and Couture knows he's got to let it go. They are a tremendous three-point shooting team. They can get themselves right back in. Evie out of the corner. Knocks down another one. He's got 15 all in the second half. Looking for some help. Here's Couture. Another Why not? One. Too strong. Covered on the air ball by Radford, who lays it in. Like it's five feet out there sure. or anything. It's pretty close to you. The cylinder now refers to players on the floor and not just the basket. And there's Evie, another one. Wow. Funny, some of the preseason notes had him as an offensive spark plug. He's been a rebounding spark plug for this team. Gilkison on the drive. And the basket and a timeout for Dan Earl. The lead is eight. You defend the three aggressively. Don't worry if they drive and score two. The drive by Evie, his first two-point goal of the day. Virginia Tech's going to go to nine and three. Winners of three straight. Mike Young's team wins 64-55.